Got a big coffee because whew, this is gonna be a long, a long video. Hey you guys, welcome back to another video. So today I kind of just wanted to, so I guess I completely realized that I didn't do a March favorites video and I kind of wanted to, really wanted to still film one. It was kind of like, should I still film a March favorites and just kind of upload it a little bit late or get it uploaded like right away before April ends or should I film like a half like March favorites video, half April favorites video. So I've decided and I'm like, I'm like, I still use the things that I used it a lot in March. And there's a lot of really good things that I'm using right now um, for the month of April. So I kind of decided that I was gonna do a March slash April favorites and what I've been loving for the months of March and April and kind of just a little like twist between the two. I have a lot of really exciting things to show you guys. That's why I still really wanted to make this video. Without further ado, if you are interested in seeing what I've been using these past two months, Keep watching I think it's gonna be really good so first I have two skincare products that I want to talk about and I want to start with skincare because I only have two products and uh, that's kind of like crazy for me to say because I love skincare and I always like try new things I always find that I love the new things that I'm trying out um, most of the time so um, I wanted to start off with this and this is the Ola Hendrickson um, lemonade smoothing scrub and I started using this when I started exfoliating again like two to three times a week I was someone who never exfoliated um, even as I became an esthetician I still would not exfoliate as I needed to um, I think it was just a either being lazy or I don't really know. <laughs> I just think I I didn't need it. And then I really started noticing that my skin was getting really dry and flaky. So I heard so many good things about this. Everyone and their mothers had this and they were raving about it. So I decided to try it. And you guys, this is this makes my skin so smooth, so bright. I love it. It's definitely one of my top, top favorites. I will be using this for months and months and months. The next product I have is from The Inky List and this is the Caffeine Eye Cream. And I really, really enjoyed this. Um, this surprised me. I didn't have high hopes for this. Um, the, the Inky List is a very, um, inexpensive brand. I didn't know if their products were gonna work. This is the first thing that I've tried from them. And I was blown away, you guys. I seriously thought this was not gonna work, but I've been using it the past couple days, and you guys know, okay? You guys know I usually have like bags or dark circles under my eyes. It's just, I've always had them. I've always just had really thin skin under my eyes, but I'm telling you, like, look at this. Like they are not, like barely even there. Like if I would do this on a normal day, like you would see them. Why do they always have the need to play so hard while I'm filming? Can you stop doing that while I'm filming? Lay down, thank you. But yeah, so I honestly thought this was not gonna work, but it did and it's literally, taken my dark circles away, the puffiness away. I am so happy that I got this. And I think it was only like eight or nine dollars. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I love this so much. So now I wanna move on to lotions. I have um, two lotions and one body oil to show you guys. So this is the, and I don't know if I'm saying this correctly, but this is the Nece Necessaire necessary um i found this brand actually online um i can't remember exactly where i found it but i decided that i wanted to try it out because it's it's packed with um 
fruit acids and, and hyaluronic acid, I believe. Um, I love this. It makes, it's, it's just a basic lotion. It doesn't have a fragrance because I got the fragrance free. It just makes your skin super smooth and it gets the job done. It's um, a relatively um, not cheap lotion. I believe this one was $25. Um, I also have their scrub, which I really, really love their scrub. I know there's glycolic acid in it and a few other acids. And um, I really, really love the way my skin feels after I use it. Um, I didn't want to take it out of my shower just because it's like kind of messy. And it, um, to be honest, it it does kind of like leak out of the bottle a little bit. I love the lotion and the scrub. And it's just a very... Just a very lightweight lotion and I just, I really like it. I've been using it a lot lately. Next lotion I want to talk about is the Farmhouse Fresh Moon Dip and this is the Ageless Body Mousse and I talked about this in my Farmhouse Fresh haul and I have been using it ever since. It's a very um, thick, fluffy, lotion and it comes with a little spoon so you can like scoop it out and like put it on your skin and you don't have to you know dig your fingers in there it's just and it smells divine it's so good it's like fruity mixed with like a little bit of like perfumey a bit of musky but it just smells so delicious and i highly highly recommend this um it comes in a huge huge container and i think it's only like 30 dollars um and it will last you so long i've had this for about two months now and it just i feel like i haven't even made a dent in it it's just it's it's gonna last you so long it smells so good. so now i want to talk about this body oil so i got this body oil for my birthday and this is the le labo labdanum body oil and <clears throat> I have a very serious relationship with Le Labo. <laughs> um, I have been obsessed with their labdanum scent for years and nothing will ever compare to this smell. It smells like sexy baby powder. That's the only way I can explain it. It just smells so delicious and like sexy and like I cannot explain it. I got the body oil because their perfumes are like $400, okay? And their biggest one, which I believe, it's pretty big, it's gonna last you a long time, but their biggest one, which I believe is like, probably like yay big, is $1,000, you guys. A thousand dollars okay for a perfume so I like even the little little tiny tiny one that's about this big is like $85 and I was like okay I'd rather just get the body oil which lasts just as long it's just as potent and this was only 50 and it's a four ounce bottle so um, it lasts a while I literally just kind of drop it on my skin like that and you really only need like two or three drops and it lasts all day it's super super strong which i love and it just ugh, it smells so freaking good so now moving on to perfumes i want to talk about the sol de janeiro Terosa 62 um perfume which is also the Brazilian crush in the um, fragrance spray. So this literally smells like summer in a bottle. It smells like a beach. It smells like going out to dinner, on vacation. I, it just smells so, so good. It has a mixture of like coconut mixed with like a little tiny bit of sunscreen. Just, it just smells like a beach and it smells like a vacation. I'm obsessed with this and I will forever love this perfume. And I've been wearing it a lot lately, almost like every day. The next perfume I wanna talk about is Estee Lauder Bronze Goddess. And the reason why I have two is because 
I first bought this a few months ago. I believe it was on Amazon. I think I found it on Amazon. And this is their Eau de Frecci scent. I'm probably saying that way wrong, but it's their lowest concentrated formula. And when I first got this, I fell in love. I had not smelled anything else like it. It was just so delicious. Like it, again, kind of smelled kind of like coconut, a little bit like sunscreen, a little bit just like summer and like, like a very like sexy, bronzy goddess smell. So the name goes into it perfectly. I fell in love with this and I was like, I love it so much that I want to get the perfume because the concentration is higher and I want it to last longer. I want it to be more potent. So I got the Eau du Parfum and I smelled it and I was like, this smells so much different. Like, why does this not smell the same? Apparently I asked um, someone from Estee Lauder and they said that the lower concentrated formula actually does smell different than the higher concentrated formula. So what I like to do is mix the two. They do, if you smell them long enough, they do smell similar, but they're still not exactly the same, but they do start to smell similar of them both. Um, I like to mix them. I find that this one is more like coconutty and sunscreeny and this one is more like musky and like perfumey. You don't really get as much of the perfume smell. You do kind of get the sunscreen smell and they do smell similar. They're just not exact. And this one, you really, really get like the pop of like coconut, but they've definitely been a favorite of mine for weeks now. The next perfume I wanna talk about is from Farmhouse Fresh and it is their Whoopi perfume. And, oh my gosh. If you love super, super sweet smelling perfume, you will love this. It smells like straight up frosting like you just lathered yourself in frosting um i don't necessarily like that super sweet of a perfume but i do like mixing this with other perfumes so if i have like another like fruity or like musky warm smelling perfume then i will i will like to mix it with this just so it's kind of like a sweet warm smell instead of just like straight up like cupcake. I really do like smelling this and um, it, it really does smell really good. So my last perfume is Vanilla Musk Fragrance Oil from Nemat and I, oh my gosh, I love this so much. It smells like just like a rich, real vanilla and it lasts so long. I think it's because it's like a perfume oil. Um, same as my labdanum body oil it lasts so much longer i feel like than like regular perfumes but i just i just really really love this this is one of my all-time favorites i wasn't using it for a while just because i wanted to start using my other perfumes um, but i started reaching for it again this month and i just fell in love all over again okay moving on to self-care i guess we would say um, is my Sage Peppermint Halo Rollerball. You guys know how much I swear by this stuff. It's so amazing for headaches, migraines, neck pains, any type of like pain anywhere. It's just, it helps you relax. It just helps you feel good. Um, I just really, 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 this is my holy grail. I take this with me everywhere. I just love this stuff. It's worth every penny. And then my last like self-care item is the Tanologist Express Tan in medium. And I just recently started getting back into self-tanning. Um, I don't know if you can, yeah, <laughs> you can tell um, that I didn't do a very good job, but that's okay. So I love this stuff. You can get it at Target. It's organic. It's one of the best self tanners I've ever tried and I've tried quite a few. I like it because it's clear, it doesn't have any bronzer to it, it develops over time, it takes about 
three to four hours to start noticing any color change, but you wash it off basically whenever you want to, like you can leave it on for the night and wash it off the next day, or you can wash it off like three or four hours after you apply it. Um, I like to leave it on, so I'll like shower in the morning, exfoliate, do all that tan, and I'll let it develop throughout the day, and then that night, I'll get in the shower and just kind of rinse it off. I love it because it's really inexpensive. I think it's like $15 from Target. It's one of the best ones I've ever tried. I just, I, I really like it, and it gives me a nice like streak-free tan. Um, you can see on my stomach. I'm a very pale person, so as you can see, um, it just gives a really nice tan and do a very good job because I was rushing, but it does give a really nice tan. So it's a really, really good brand and it lasts like over a week. So I just love it. Okay, so that's it for like beauty products or like skincare, self-care. I have some kind of like random stuff. These are my key, blue light sunglasses sunglasses <laughs> my blue light glasses and i'm obsessed with them like oh my gosh they're so cute i just love them but if you don't have a pair of these everyone needs a pair of these i've been wearing them so much with being on the computer so often recently these are really really great for everyone to have so next i want to talk about a bag and one that i've really been loving this month is my louis vuitton favorite and yes this is called the favorite um it is one of my favorites um so yeah this is the favorite and it's just a really gorgeous bag for the spring since we are heading into spring and it's just a really beautiful simple bag that holds a lot so um, it has a magnetic open and close and it comes with a little chain that you can either, you know, go like this and make it like a short bag or um, you can either just have it hanging and use the long strap inside and just have it hanging in the front like this or you can like just tuck it in if you don't want the chain hanging out. but. I love this bag so much. It goes with pretty much anything because it's a very neutral color. It's gray and white, so it's um, just a really like good everyday bag that um, kind of spruces up your outfit, but keeping it very simple. So I just really love this bag and I've been going for it a lot lately. And I plan on wearing it more throughout the spring, so. I want to show you guys that. Okay, the last item I have for my favorite is this Mr. Clean Clean Freak Spray. And if you guys like to clean and you're literally a clean freak like I am, then you will love this spray. It's so freaking cool. Um, first of all, it smells amazing. And second of all, it cleans so well. I didn't have like high expectations for this. Wasn't really sure if this was gonna like do the job, but it exceeded my expectations. I wanted to get my hands on the lemon one, but they were out of the lemon one. So I had to get the lavender, but the lavender smells so good. I had to include this because I've been using it quite often. So something else that I wanted to show you guys are these custom Starbucks cups and have been my like such a favorite of mine for the past couple months. Um, I found a ton on Etsy that I'm like obsessed with and so I had to order some. So I got a an office custom cup and it just has like world's best boss. I feel God in this chilies tonight, pretzel day. It's just, it's so, so cute. So. This is one of my most used cups and I just, I love it so, so much. And then this one just has my Aries on it with my name and I think it's just so, so beautiful. One more favorite that I have, I wanted to show you guys cause I can't, you know, pick this up and like bring it over to where I'm filming. But um, this is my Nespresso Virtuo Plus and 
I've been using it so much, especially with the cold cups, and I just love it to make coffee, and it's just one of my favorite purchases I've made this far. I just, I love it. It's definitely a favorite, and I've been using it a lot lately. Um, I also, I could include some other like favorites to go with it, but this is my brown sugar, and then I just have this little like storage container with all of my capsules. And um, my favorite right now is this caramel cookie. Um, it's not an espresso, so I can't drink it very often. My favorite espresso is the Peru Organic. And I've been making that a lot in the Nespresso. So I thought I would share that with you guys because I have been loving making my coffee. So my last favorite are these shoes and these are the adidas oswego shoes and i'm just really obsessed with them they're so just like just really love like the colorway and like the way they fit they're very like sporty but they're very like basic at the same time love these so but that is all for my favorites you guys i hope you enjoyed this video and i hope i could maybe inspire you to pick up a couple of these things because i really really just love them and have a love for all of them so um yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this and this kind of like favorites for the month of march and april so, so let me know if you have any questions or what else you would like to see down below and i will talk to you guys all in the next video bye